Welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband. We left off just outside Preven, looking for a quest that doesn't involve buying cows from one place and bringing the cows to another place. We just don't want to talk to the tavern. There won't be anyone upstairs. Um, still have some food, so I should be good on that for now. Let's go talk to the... Whoops, I guess I can do this to make it faster. Tips and tricks. <laughs> oh, it's very dark and foggy. Um, let's talk to the guildmaster. Good day, Israel. What can I do for you? Um, do you have a job for me? Actually, I was looking for a reliable man that can undertake an important mission. A group of mapped the daughter of a friend of mine, and are holding her for ransom. My friend is ready to pay them, but we still need someone to take the money to those rascals and bring the girl back to safety. The amount the man is asking as ransom is 930 dinars. I'll give you that money once you accept to take the quest. You have 15 days to take the money to the bandits, who will be waiting near the village of Bulabin. Those bastards said that they are going to kill the poor girl if they don't get the money by that time. You will give the, you will get your pay of 230 dinars when you bring the girl safely back here. All right, I'll take the ransom money so the bandits and bring the girl safe. Bring back the girl safe. Oh my god, and bring back the girl. Sorry, I don't have time for this right now. I'll bring her back. Good. I knew we could trust you with this. Here's the ransom money. 930 dinars. Count it before taking it. And please, don't attempt to do anything rash. Keep in mind that the girl's well-being is more important than anything else. Uh, yeah. Not a problem. I can do that. So, again. <laughs> um, he gave me 930 dinars. Yeah. Go Master Praven gave me 930 dinars to go to the bandits near Bulabin. I think Bulabin is all the way over here. Yeah. Oh wow, I wish I took that quest to give a letter to the guy at Sungatch Castle now. <laughs> but he would honestly probably be gone by the time I got over there. But now I have 15 days to go save the girl who is kidnapped, merchant's daughter, something. It's always the same thing. But you know, no one should be kidnapped. It's never a good thing. And they want a lot of money for her. And so now, again, I have the option to just straight up uh, dip with the ransom money and choose to keep it. Or I can uh, bring it to the bandits and pay them the ransom for the girl. I can choose to fight them instead and keep the ransom money. And I think it paid a little bit extra from the uh, guild master for my services. And I still get to save the uh, girl, so that's good. Because again, the most important thing is saving a life here. Like, I don't necessarily care about the money. I mean, again, kidnapping's bad. You don't kidnap people. People don't like that. <laughs> but kids do like napping. Oh my god, is that, like, where the term came from? Because, like, people would steal kids while they were napping? That's a dark thought. I'm not going to think about that anymore. Let's go to Ravidin. This is in the Kingdom of Vagers. <laughs> Good change of subject, Cho. Oh, cool. Another follower. And we can actually afford him. And I like this follower. Bunduk. Hey, hey, my man. Oh, I, I mean, um, I don't know who you are. I, I, I'm Ezrod. Ezrod, Ezrod, Ezrod. <laughs> Greetings there, brother. Here's to the doom and downfall of all Ivorn lords and ladies. Why say that, sir? That's rebel talk, and I'll hear none of it. Good day to you. Uh, why do you say that, sir? It's a long story, but if you get yourself a drink, I'll be glad to tell it. A sergeant I was, and the garrison here at Ravidon. Twenty years I stood guard for the city, taking many a hard knock in many a tough fight, till they put in a snuck-nosed downy lip princeling, barely out of his mother's cradle as commander of the garrison. He came upon me standing watched up the tower, with my crossbow unstrung, on account of the rain, you see. Can't have the cord loosen. But little Prince Snot Nose tells me that's an unstrung bow, his dereliction of duty. Says I'll have me horse whipped, and something in me snapped. So, walked off my post. Now I'm get here getting drunk, and the devil take me tomorrow. If you're looking for work, I can use experienced fighters. No doubt you'll wake up with your head in a noose, and you'll deserve it. Good day. Oof. I guess that means I'm going to insinuate that he's gonna abandon me. But, 
I, I like Bunduk. I, I think he's a trustful man for the most part. <laughs> anyway, uh, I can use experienced fighters. Are you now? Well, that's a sight better than swinging from a gibbet for desertion. You won't regret taking me on, brother. I'm a dead eye with a crossbow, a beautiful weapon. It can right punch through a nobleman's armor and spill his blue blood upon the ground. And I've trained more royal recruits than you've had out dinners, begging your pardon. I don't toady to the highborn. Good man. We'll treat you with the respect you deserve. Uh, on second thought, we value discipline pretty highly in our company. Good day to you. Um, yeah, Bunduk's more a loose, loose guy. I'm fine with that, in a sense. Uh, we'll treat you with the respect you deserve. That's good news. But I'll ask for one last thing, Captain. I have a woman here in Raverton, a tavern wench, and she says she has my child in her belly. I want to give her some money before I leave for the child, you know. Do you think you can spare me 200 dinars? Oof, moral dilemma. Um, but again, I trust Bunduk. Um, <laughs> outside of this role play, I trust Bunduk. But as Ezrod, I'm like, okay, okay, I'll, I'll give you 200 dinars. Here, 200 dinars. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare, and I'll be ready to move. So, now we have Bunduk, which again is a companion... I like. I find he is a faithful companion who um, shows loyalty. He just doesn't want to be treated like a lesser person because he's not a, a noble birth, of noble birth, because, you know, no one should be treated less because they're not nobility. Um, I guess I do have some money. Oh, I guess some of that money is the ransom money. I'm still not going to upgrade any troops until I get over here to Bulabin. <laughs> Behulban? Behulban? I mean, this one's Ulberban. So. Behulba? Behulaba? <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't tell you how these things are pronounced. Over here, we see um, Boyer Marmoon is probably raising some troops from one of his villages, I'm assuming. It's an interesting feature. Um, lords will generally, generally protect land that they own, and they can uh, attain troops from land that they own, which in a sense makes sense. Um, so it's it's neat to see the change of war change things like that. Oof, there's 30 bandits, and I have 33 men. So if I choose to fight them, it will be a very tough fight. But I am interested to see where it goes. I guess, since I'm a wimp, I'm going to save before I do anything. And I'm going to upgrade you to infantry, because again, I feel just having one lone horseman is just going to be a disaster. Some more footmen and some more archers, and all these crews can be militiamen, so may as well. Still keep Bork on the bottom. Um, because I've been uh, commentating so much, I haven't been paying as much attention in battle, so this time I'll try to direct my men. Um, let's level up more Nid. Um, I want him to be a warrior, so let's give him another point in strength and iron flesh so he survives a bit longer. Give him some throwing skill. Um, Again, if you click too fast, it will always go up to the edit name option, but you can't actually change their name. Like, we'll level up Alien, but if I change his name to... Uh, Yif. <laughs> oh, it'll say it. But once I exit it, it'll just go back to Alien. There's no way to actually change the name, which I think would be a fun feature. It gives them that extra bit of, like, customization. Um, he already has 11 strength. So 12, 12 strength is nice, because each skill can only be upgraded to a uh, quarter or a third of what um, the skill is. So if it's 12 strength of uh, 4 uh, skill in Iron Flash. But again, that's a system that I might go over in like other videos if I decide to make more like How Mountain Blade Works videos. Um, what levels do my character have? Um, mm. Put another point into agility for now. And 
Ooh, I guess shield might be a good one. Hmm. I'll either put it into... I guess I do want to level up my riding. Either shield, riding, or tactics. Um, I think I'm going to do shield. Because I guess I don't even have a horse at the moment, so that doesn't really matter. Again, I'm going to level up my throwing. Um, I guess let's see how this goes. Let's attack these bandits. Are you the one that brought the ransom? Quick, give us the money now. Uh, so I can just be like, here, take the money, just set the girl free. I can be like, no way, you release the girl first. You fool, stop playing games and give us the money. All right, here's your money, let the girl go now. Uh, I I left the money in a safe place, let me go fetch it. And that just gives you like some time to uh, go over your options. But then this one, I have no intention to pay you anything. I demand that you release the girl now. We'll initiate a battle. And I'm not going to say I'm necessarily outmatched, but there's a chance that these bandits could spawn with horses. But I'm still going to give it a try. I I usually go with this option. I don't like giving the bandits money. There's no reason to do that. I demand that you release the girl now. You won't be demanded anything when you're dead. You've encountered bandits awaiting ransom. You have 33 troops fit for battle against their 30. I'm going to order my troops to attack without me, so that all of them die. No, I'm going to choose to lead my men in battle. I'm going to tell them all to follow me. Sadly, I don't have a horse to make it easier for me to get around and issue commands. But I'm going to set them up to be more defensible. Um, they are already here. Actually, I'm just going to tell everyone to charge. Then I'm going to tell the archers to hold it here. Why is the audio back up on my headphones? There we go. I don't know why that keeps going up. Maybe it's because I keep, like, stopping recording to record a new video. And it, like, resets my headphone settings. I don't know. It just gets really loud to the point where it sounds like they're actually screaming in my ear. I don't know. Come here. Oh. Turned around. Oh no. Okay, we're not doing um, awful. I only lost three men so far. Wounded, I really never consider as a loss because if your whole party is wounded, they're still alive. It's just they aren't going to be able to fight in the next couple battles until they're healed. So, good. We did a lot better than I thought. We only lost three people. Wounded is much better than dead. Um, Two of my militiamen were killed, and a skirmisher, so not too bad. Oh, sir, thank you so much for rescuing me. Will you take me to my family now? Yes, come with me. We are going home. Uh, wait here a while longer. I'll come back for you. Just stay here out in the snow. Oh, please, sir. Do not leave me here all alone. Oh, no, I didn't mean to <laughs> pick that option. Uh, I'll take all this. Is she still here? Okay, cool. Okay, same thing. Yes, come with me. We're going home. Oh, really? Thank you so much. So, poor girl was kidnapped. Um, I think I had to go to Praven, right? Is that where I got this quest from? Uh, Praven, yeah. So I've... Man, if I don't make it back there in 13 days, I wonder what happens to her. Interesting. Something else I can test out in the future. Um, yeah. Um, poor girl. Not that women are helpless, but she was obviously probably caught off guard by some bandits, and that's never good. Sneak attacks and all. I'm really surprised I did good after that, or that I survived that. I'm going to save. I totally forgot to do that, because that's a great idea. <laughs> Again, I thought I was going to do <laughs> a little bit worse. I thought I'd at least lose, like, maybe ten men. And I don't have any horsemen to give me a advantage. Horsemen, um, I feel, are useful for, in a sense, weakening an enemy before having your uh, infantry come in. And, you know, as well as having, like, your archers uh, be able to pick people off before the rest of your troops get close is nice. Another week has gone by. 158 for my party, so 2,356 dinars, 
to 2,198 dinars. So, still have over 2,000 dinars, not too shabby. There are some tricks. I'm not going to say tricks. We used to cheese the game, I guess I'll say. To, like, you know, make money faster and do things that increase your um, level, experience, just kind of all that stuff. And I'm not trying to do a whole bunch of that right now. I'm just trying to... I mean, mainly because it's on hard. If it's on easy, you can really do that stuff. Like, fight high-level units and get a bunch of loot and money from defeating them. But this is on hard. And I can't do that. Thank you so much for bringing me back. I can't wait to see my family. Goodbye. <laughs> so this last we'll see of Kidnapped Girl. At least in that quest. Again, like, all the quests are... I know I should do this. All the quests in every place are basically the same, just slightly different locations, slightly different uh, outcome, but in the end, the same exact thing. Um, let's finish this quest off, though, because I have to talk to the guildmaster. Good day, Isrod. Isrod, I am in your debt for bringing back my friend's daughter. Please take these 230 dinars that I promised you. My friend wished he could give you more, but paying that ransom brought him to his knees. Well, I already kept the ransom money, so <laughs> joke's on your friend, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, but I'm going to be getting another quest from the guild merchant, or guild master, hopefully, next episode. So I hope you all enjoy watching um, the story of Ysrod. Um Stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, have a good day. Bye. Mountain Blade, Mountain Blade, Mountain Blade, Mountain Blade. Mountain blade, mountain blade, mountain blade, mountain blade, mountain blade. <laughs> All right.